guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Nazan and welcome to my channel. I was sitting and I wanted to film something again for people who sometimes get out of ideas on how to work on a daily face. So this could be a daily face and to be honest, I don't wear makeup on daily basis. Even when I'm working, I avoid wearing makeup. It's just not me. Even when you look at it, there is probably a lot of stuff that I've used, but it's like minimalistic. And my main focus was how to make your lashes look big, like literally big. This is one one of the techniques that I use the days when I don't want to wear fake lashes so yeah I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and you get to learn some of the techniques that I've used and hopefully it could be of some benefit to you so yeah if you want to see how to get this look please keep watching so we're gonna use the YSL this is the volumizing mascara effect baby doll and we're gonna start applying the mascara so don't worry about the mascara if it's on your skin, near the eyes, because I will teach you a trick in which you can just take it off within a no time. So literally I am pushing it up. I'm starting it exactly from the root. And this is the motion that I'm gonna go with. Up and down, up and down, we're rolling the brush. Once you've got this, the easiest way of removing mascara is let the mascara dry first. Once it's dried, then you take a cotton bud and just wipe it off. You can wet it a little bit or you can just use the dry so it comes off easily. Then I'm going to use the Lash Alert Mascara. This is by Ico. And what you're going to do now is you're going to look down. already and then what I like to do is I'm gonna look at the side with the brush you start lifting them up trying to put it in the edge over here and then you lift it up with the tip okay you need to let it dry a little bit once it dries we're going to do one more coat like this one has dried so we can go with this one again I think we should do the skin meanwhile. So I'm keeping my skin very, very simple. I'm gonna use my By Terry Cellular Rose CC Serum. I have moisturized my skin already, so it should be okay. And I'm not using too much of product because that's not my goal. I wanna look natural also. Right, once this dries, then I'm going to use my Esme Skin Mineral Finish Foundation and I'm using two to three. Just gonna take like, literally like a drop like this. And because it's mineral foundation, so it wouldn't have too much of coverage. But this is all I'm gonna get. Then I'm going to use the YSL Touche Club Corrector. I do have dark circles, sadly, yes I do. And if I want, I can use a little bit of brightener under my eyes. I'm thinking, what should I use? By Terry, Click Expert. Maybe like, literally like three Okay, because my under eye creases a lot, so I'm gonna use the By Terry Hydra Powder. Truly, this is what I have, and I'm gonna take just a little bit under my eye. It's like, honestly, guys, I'm not even like barely touching it. Barely. 
I'm going to use this face powder by By Terry. This is the Squirt Compact. Use this buffing brush. I think that the mascara has dried, so we can go for another coat. I'm gonna use Marc Jacobs Black Eye Pencil. I'm gonna use it in my upper waterline. So this gives the illusion of like full lashes. The Tarte palette. This is the clay play. The one I'm going to use is going to be this shade in the middle. That's oh, one like chocolate. Well, the brush I'm using is number ten by Kiko Milano. I'm going to use the Mac Pink Swoon Blush. This is what it looks like. For my face, I'm going to use this NYX. It's Illuminating Stick by NYX. Let me show you how it looks like. I'm going to use it on the nose, of course. The highest. Just to open up my eye. There you go. Is optional if you feel like doing it, go for it. I feel it makes a very big difference. It is blended well. Sometimes I'm so lazy, I'm like, ah, oh, forget it, don't blend it. And then I'm like, no, I need to blend it. Otherwise, it just looks like mm. my usual. This is the bow and arrow by Cat 1D. This is the lip paint by L'Oreal and the shade I'm using is Hollywood Beige 201. It's a nice peachy color. So this is how I would do my everyday face. Well, not when I'm out on work, but if I'm going like in the mornings, if I'm going out for a meeting for those days when I want to have like coverage and I want to emphasize on my eyes then this is what I would go for I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you guys are new to my channel subscribe and please comment down below let me know what you guys think about it and if you guys have any ideas or any inspirations or any look that you want me to work on please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you next time till then you take good care of yourself Stay safe and stay beautiful. Bye guys. Bye.